Mortgage Consultant for Life. Welcome to this week's Mortgage Moments video. I'll have a new short video on a mortgage or financial fitness topic every week. So please make sure to follow my YouTube channel or visit the Mortgage Moments section on my website, kitcrown.com, for the latest video. This week, I'm starting a three-part series designed to help first-time home buyers hit the ground running. Today, we're going to talk about helping your real estate agent find you the perfect home. Next week, I'll focus on foreclosures and short sales. And then the third part is focused on helping you make realistic offers in this current market. Let's jump in. When it comes to shopping for a home, there's a number of things that you can do in advance that will make the process for you and your realtor far more productive and positive. Here's a few common sense ideas that come from years of watching from the sidelines and hearing the positive and negative observations from thousands of clients. The first is to know your budget. Before you even think about looking at homes, it's essential that you figure out what monthly payment you're going to be comfortable with. I call it your pain threshold, and this will allow you to figure out what price range you should be shopping in. The point here is that you don't want your realtor showing you homes that will be more than you can afford. That's frustrating for you and for your realtor. For more insights on this, watch my Mortgage Moments video on February 8th entitled, How Much is Too Much? to get some hints on how to figure this number out. Next, know what you want in a home. Take the time to introspect and identify the things that are most important to you. I'm a big fan of making lists, and here's a way that I recommend for organizing what's important to you. Some of these items are going to be um, absolutes, meaning there's no point in looking at homes that don't meet these requirements. So I call this column the essentials or yes. For example, your list might include made of wood. Some of these will be things that you'd love to have if you can get them with your budget. So we'll call these maybes. For example, I think most of us would agree that having a drawbridge would be a nice feature. The last column is reserved for those deal breakers. There's no point in looking at these homes that have these attributes, so we'll call these no's. Perhaps you just don't like the look of a crenellated roof line. Here's an important pointer. You may find that after visiting some homes with your realtor, you want to make some changes to the, your list based on what you've seen. That's good. If you want, please see the article in the home buyer section of my website called How to Help Your Realtor Find You the Perfect Home where you'll find my home search checklist available for download. Make sure that you provide your realtor with a copy so that she or he has a clear picture of what you want. Be patient. Finding the perfect home takes time. The great thing is that the market is constantly changing and updating with new inventory coming on every single day. And if you really feel stuck, revisit your home search checklist to see whether tweaking this might open up some new possibilities. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and remember always that I'm here every day to help solve the problems that living life on life's terms sends your way. Keep my number close by so that you can reach me anytime you need my help or anytime someone you care about needs someone who will care about them as much as I care about you. See you next week.